Hi everyone, this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and today's video is the first of a four-part series where I'm going to share my tools and processes for organizing and accessing digital photos. In this first video, I'm going to cover um, an overview plus step one, prune and centralize photos quarterly. Okay, trying to figure out how to organize your photos is not a new problem. But with the massive numbers of digital photographs that we all have now, it can be a pretty daunting one. I'm not particularly creative nor artsy when it comes to photograph. You will not catch me scrapbooking and I don't take hundreds of photos for every occasion. But I do want my pictures to be organized and I don't want them taking up a ton of space on my phone, and I want to be able to access them anywhere I need them. Most importantly, I do not want to spend a ton of time futzing with a super complicated system. So a couple of notes. First of all, I'm a PC user. I've been told that this is all much easier if you use all Mac products, but that is not my situation for a whole host of reasons. So. I use a PC and an iPhone and an iPad, and so this solution is tailored to fit that hardware scenario. Uh, second thing, quarterly. I'm someone who likes projects, but I don't love maintenance. So for example, I love prepping my garden, you know, planning it all out and putting in all the brand new plants. What I do not love is the weeding and the watering and basically being a good gardener throughout the growing season. Because I know this about myself, I trick my brain into maintaining my photo system by only dealing with it quarterly. I would much rather spend two hours every three months than a couple of minutes every day or 30 minutes every week. Even if you're different than I am in this regard, the system can still work for you. So I go about my life much like everyone else, taking pictures, receiving them from others, and generally having digital photos in a whole bunch of disparate places but once every three months, I attempt to tame the beast. Here's the process in a nutshell. Step one, prune and centralize quarterly. Step two, organize simply. Step three, manage and group with Picasa. And step four, share and access anywhere with Google Photos. So each of the four videos in this series deals with one of those steps. I'm going to go through the first step in this video. So first, pruning photos. The very first thing I do for my quarter quarterly photo chores is to get rid of all of the photos that I don't want to keep long term. So just like all of you, I take multiple pictures to make sure I get one good shot. I don't want all of those iterations, I really just want the best one. So I get rid of multiple iterations and other random stuff like screenshots and terrible pictures or you know, videos that my kids have taken when they stole my phone. Next step is to store the photos centrally. So the next step is to bring all of those photos to one central place. You have to have a mothership or a central storage place. And for this, I use my PC. So I know this seems archaic and I have attempted to change this to centralized cloud storage but for a bunch of reasons, mostly lack of cloud functionality and syncing reliability problems, I keep coming back to having my PC be the photo mothership. After all, my photos are very important. So how do you get your photos onto the mothership? So let's walk through the different ways. First of all, camera. Now I have completely gone away from using a standalone camera, but back when I did, I used this product, um, iFi, which was a memory, memory card product to wirelessly transmit photos from my camera to my computer over Wi-Fi. It was not without problems, so once the camera became good enough on my iPhone, I happily said goodbye to this solution. Um, you can also use a USB cord or a memory card reader to make this happen. Next, shared photos on your mobile. 
Photos are so easy to share and trade now. So many of the great pictures that I get are from other folks who are, frankly, so much better at taking pictures than I am. They might come from one of the parents on your kid's sports team who posted a bunch of pictures to a Shutterfly account or from someone else on your vacation who put all of their photos on a photo sharing site like Google Photos or Shutterfly um, or Snapfish. Or it could be from a photo sharing app like Moments or Cluster. Suffice it to say, we're all sharing photos and there is a proliferation of apps and websites that make it easy to do this. In this situation, I determine the photos that I want to keep long term and I save them to my camera roll on my iPhone. There's almost always an easy way to do this from every app. Just push the universal sharing button and then choose to save to camera roll. I make a point to do this as I'm looking at the pictures, like, hey, there's a good one of my son, or I like this whole picture of the team. That way, when I'm doing my quarterly chores, the photos are already on the camera roll of my iPhone or my iPad and will move over to my PC with the rest of the pictures that I've taken. Um, so what do I do with the photos that are on my iPhone or iPad? I do turn on photo stream so that I can see all of the photos on all of my iOS devices, but how do you get those onto your computer? This is actually a huge pain in the butt. Apple makes a piece of software that is part of the iCloud for PC suite called iCloud Photos. Theoretically, you should be able to see all of your photo stream photos in the software and then you could pull them onto your PC. Well, I have not had great success with this. The syncing is strange so that I'm missing a photo here and there and I really do not like having to go through all of my photos one by one to figure out which one is missing. So I use a USB cord and a piece of software called iFunbox to get access to the storage area of my iPhone and iPad and pull the photos in. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this process since it's too much to explain here. Um, and finally, shared photos on your PC. Well, this is obviously the easiest. I download those photos directly onto my PC. Okay, so now that I can bring everything into the mothership, how do I organize it in a simple way? So watch the second video in this series to find out. I really appreciate any comments that you leave below and thanks for watching.